What is up guys? This is Justin aka FM Digi and I am here with episode number 36 of Reign of Red Star. We're starting season 5 of our journey to take Red Star Belgrade back to Champions League glory. Um, we've played 6 matches and we've got 18 points. So season's looking good, but today we have Champions League Champions Playoff. Winner gets into the group stage. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, we are playing Volaranga. I just watched a video on how to pronounce that. Volaranga, um, they play in Norway. We beat them 2-0 in their house in the first leg, but today is second leg matchup in our house. If we win or you know advance in leg tiebreakers, we will get to the group stages. So, oh, in fact, I want to double check that because I'm pretty sure. Oops. Yeah, Champions Playoff group stages. Okay, yeah. Just just making sure. Um, we've done some transfers. Let's get into that. So we have brought in fifty million dollars worth of players. Um, you know, we'll see. And let go of thirty-three million. Um. Let's get at, um, let's look at the ones that we've lost. Uh, Tom Rogic, we brought him in last year to shore up um, kind of some midfield, and you know he never really took in. Otara performed better than I expected. Persic came in and was able to get into the first team. So you know he became expendable, so we got rid of Rogic. Um, we bought him for nothing, so everything was bonus there. Uh, Milan Rodic, we lost him, uh, let him go on a free, um, you know, he was just too deep down the pecking order on the left side. Um, Tyson, sorry to go, but yeah, he already had a prearranged end of, end of, end of contract um, movement back to Brazil, so I let him go. This one sucks, um, and I'm upset about the amount of money too. Um, Especially now that I see this value. Ristich got an offer from PSG. He said he's going to become unsettled if he doesn't get to go. We got to play that game back and forth. They wanted uh, four and a half million for him. I said, heck no, you can have him for 12. Uh, he said, that's too high. You're, you're, you're making this unreasonable. And between he and I, we negotiated down to seven. That's the best he could do and we could do together without unsettling the team. He Remember, he's he he was a team leader, so we didn't really want to you know upset the balance too much there. Um, so he ended up going to PSG because they come calling. The only person to get upset was Vahalovic, and I said, hey, you know, he just he didn't want to be here. And he said, okay, I can appreciate that. Um, v uh, Velikic um, gone out on loan. Narkart, um, if you remembered, he is the one we signed because he was about to sign with um, Partizan. He didn't really play for us, but um, he went to Celtic, so we win that battle. Um, Radinjelovic, um, he went to AEK. Um, again, he was someone who wasn't really going to break into the starting lineup, and uh, you know, just we've improved the team, and he didn't improve fast enough. Um, Jasir, he um, kind of the same as Ristic. He wanted to go and was kind of complaining that he wasn't getting enough playing time. If he just would have waited a year, he would have the playing time he wanted. Um, he was really close to getting Serbian nationality, so I'm s upset about that. Uh, Kliknik, Kliknik, yeah. Um, honestly, I don't know who he is. Uh, he never really played, but uh, he went. Uh, Rabi is back out on loan again. Um, Radonjic, um, kind of the same thing as um, Radinilovic, um, just not good enough to get into the uh, first team squad so able to get some money Contaldi debated this one um, but we were actually under we were failing uh, FFP so kind of an easy one to do and Sivak um, loaned back out to Novi Sad uh, coming in director of football brought in these two guys um, 16 year old Macedonian um, striker you know 
so it's, it's just one of these things we're, we're just going to see what we can do. Uh, hopefully we can get something. I'm not even going to try to say that name. Uh, again, 16 years old. He's got good bravery, good balance, good natural fitness. Um, you know, tackling's decent for a 16 year old. We need to, you know, he's a work in progress as well. Um, Morelli, he came in from River Plate, $10 million. Um, Shore up kind of the left back area. You'll notice another name in there too, who we will get to. Uh, 19 years old, but he's got some awesome potential. Um, also, uh, one other thing, we did not get into the EU, which I sort of expected to happen. I think the earliest it'll happen will be next summer, um, and then it will happen anytime between 2024, 2027, somewhere in that window. Um, so uh, Morelli would actually be a non-EU player as well, so you got to just, um, you know, careful with signing too many of those. Uh, Ziv Zivkovic uh, from Benfica, we got him. Um, he can play both wings. Um, he's pretty strong with both feet. So, I mean, he can play kind of in both of those areas. Uh, determination is a little bit low, but everything else, you know, all the, he checks off all the right boxes to be someone who can, you know, help us out when we need, or he can play in those league matches when we're knee deep in Champions League matches. Um, go back. Uh, Denore, he came in from Belgium. Um, again, someone who I want to help shore up on the right side. He can also play naturally on the left, although he is right footed, left foot is weak, so he'll more than likely live on the right side. But, you know, he can cover both sides and just solid, but not gangbuster on either side um, or either, any of those stats. And then um, Matt Hummels, a name many of you probably know. Um, director of football found him and offered him uh, five and or offered five and a half for him, five and a half million. And I really waffled on this because I'm like, he's just a one year rental. Um, we're not going to have him longer than that. Even though he did sign a two year contract, he would not sign a one year contract. Um, 140k a week, pretty pricey for us, but. Um, you know, his stats still look good, um, aside from the physical, but, you know, he's just going to stand back there. He's 6'3", um, give us some leadership as well, um, you know, someone who knows what's going on. So we'll see. Hopefully I don't regret that one. I'm sure we'll clip that. Uh, Kovac came in from India, um, Indija. He's just to shore up, grab a car, and, you know, just another prospect. Uh I liked his numbers. I liked the teamwork, especially um, 17 on the teamwork. So not too bad there. Um, and lastly, Boga came in um, Ivory Coast National, 26 years old. He was actually, I think he was one of the first signs. I have to go back and look. But um, someone who I thought could give Garcia a little bit of rest on the wing uh, can play also over here. Uh, right foot very strong, so he can play inverted on this side and then just regular winger on this side. Um, I don't know. I kind of liked, you know, I like this flair. Dribbling of 18 is really cool. Acceleration of 17. Um, finishing first touch is awesome. So he's got some really good numbers. And you can see, you know, he's already got two goals for us in four game matches in Superliga. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to say he was one of the first signings. Actually, one of the last. Oh, I think I arranged it earlier on. Um, one of the. I think he was arranged shortly after the season ended. Um, before, one thing I don't think I showed you. Hold on. I've just had a severe brain fart. I showed you this episode, right? I'm going to go back and look. Be right back. All right, sorry about that. I showed you the Calabra match. That's right. Um, I had to go back and watch part of it. Um, so I didn't even finish showing you how we ended the season. We did win the League Cup. My bad. I'm sorry. I thought I, for some reason, the whole time doing this, I thought I showed you that. I didn't show you this game. Didn't come back for this game because they were in the relegation playoff, and I knew pretty handily I was going to beat them, and I did five one. Um, so yeah, that's why I did not. Show you that one, and then went straight into the off season. As you can see, not too many um, friendlies, but went right into gameplay. I thought there was another friendly in there, but maybe not. Uh, right into gameplay, 
and um, have been doing awesome. Been doing great. I'm trying to rotate in and out some guys, get them in. Um, you know, I'm not going to go over all of these, but this um, Volanga, Volanga, I already said it wrong. Um, Radonia and Otara um, both got goals on one. I did mention in the last episode that I was thinking about getting rid of Otara and letting Persich up there. Um, end up signing Otara for another contract, but um, might only keep him around for another year. Uh, Persich still, I think, needs some time. Um, so let's go into the squad view so you can kind of see where we are. Uh, Persich is coming off of an injury, but he will be starting today's matchup as well. I mean, he's already got three and a half stars, um, doing well in training with an 8.3 average. He did really well last year. Um, this is this is the best signing I have had. Um, also, um, or lastly, some funky bad news. Hopefully not. Um, Vahalovic, you know, I love him, and we get offers all the time, and for him, you know, 15 million here, 20 million here, and I turn them all down, and he's like, no, I have no interest. Man City came in, he's like, no, I have no interest, and they offered, I think, 15 for him, and he said, no, I got no interest, and I let it go and re rejected. Then they came back with 22 million. He said, you know, I kind of would like to talk to them, um, and I rejected it. And he hasn't really squawked about it, but I'm kind of thinking he's getting to the point now where maybe he might start to squawk about some of these bigger teams come in for him. So I'm a little nervous about that. We do have the transfer window closing in a few days. So hopefully, hopefully I can hang on to him. But um, get into today's match against uh, VIF. We'll, we'll just maybe do Volanga. This is supposed to be like an O, Valangra, Valangra. Um, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. I, well, I know I'm mispronouncing it, so sorry if it uh, upsets anybody. Uh, Anderson was upset that I unregistered him. Um, I honestly, I don't care. He's just not good enough to get in the top 25. Um, I did mention on Twitter that, uh, you know, that face you make when, or that feeling when everyone gets happy. It asked me to register them like three or four days before the first match. And I did. No one said anything. Then it asked me again, like a day before the match, and that's when he got upset. So, a little bit of pain. Um, one thing, Partizan Belgrade already is out of the Champions League. They went out in the um, the round before this for second round. And other bad news. Uh, let me get into that. Um, and I won't. We Serbia went down in coefficient ratings, so we only get one team in the Champions League again. Um, so unfortunately, we, we're not, I guess it's good for us, but we have to win the league every year. You know, we had those two years where we could have come in second, but that can't be a thing anymore. We come in second, we get in Europa Cup two, or whatever that thing is. So Milinkovic, Savic in goal, Morelli, Pavlovic, Hummels, Despotivsky in back line, Rodonia, Moranchuk in the middle, Boga, Garcia on the wings, Persich supporting Vahalovic up top, Let's get into it. If you guys haven't already subscribed, please hit that red button down below and hit and subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell next step to be notified when I do post new videos. And as always, smash that like button. It really helps out. Um, I've been seeing the uh, subscriptions slowly tick up and the views on the videos ticking up as well. So I'm really happy about that and I do appreciate it. Um, you know, if you guys like what I'm what I'm um, what I'm doing, then let me know. If you don't like what I'm doing, give me a dislike. I mean, and tell me why. I would love to uh, love to get better. Um, definitely getting uh, trying. You'll notice uh, I don't have the green screen now. I've got the cool lighting thing background. Um, if you guys happen to watch the Hasef save, uh, I did a live stream Saturday morning for me, Saturday afternoon UK time. Um, you watch that. I went with this kind of setup. Um, so I thought I'd try it again. Um, might might do a few more things. This kind of opens up a you know some different things. We'll see. But I, you know I've still got the green screen right over there, so I can always uh, bust it out if needed. But uh, we're seven minutes, eight minutes into the game. Not a whole lot going on. Um, team you know has done really well. I mean. We, I thought we were going to go without allowing any goals all season in the first few matches, but we, I think we've allowed three all season. Uh, we'll see. Hummels gets it up to Despotivsky, um, loses it. No one really back to support. 
Okay, Garcia managed to pick that up. Boga, who's already sitting on a yellow. Bahalovic, Despotivsky, looking around, circling. Moranchuk, Despotivsky, Hummels, Hummels, Boga, just wide open. There's an overlap on the side. Rodonia sees him. Morelli, getting it in. Garcia, boom. That's what I'm talking about. That's that teamwork. Garcia doing things. He was a little nervous um, and had to make him some promises that I was going to play him. So that's why he's playing today. I mean, we've got such good depth on this team now. Um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. Boga with a free kick. Get in. Oh, my gosh. That was close. I didn't even see who it was. Moranchuk over to Boga. Boga looking, looking, looking. He's kind of hovering, trying to get a penalty. Nope. But we will win it in Hummels, and that's the end of the highlight. All right, back in the 34th minute. They have a throw-in. Defense is back. Hopefully pushing them hard. Okay. Oh, I thought we won that one. That was a tough one. And one thing, um, Vanya is kind of starting to degrade a little bit. I think he's only two and a half or three stars now. So we might need to look at bringing in another goalkeeper. Look at this. That Persic is going to get Vahalovic. Garcia, get in. That was beautiful. Persic gets a header over to Vahalovic, who finds Garcia wide open, puts it in the bottom left corner. That puts us up 2-0 in today's game. And then, oh, that pass from Vahalovic. That was just butter. Um, notice I got new glasses here. These are blue blocker glasses, but not prescription. So if I look squinty, that's why. But I'm actually, I like the distance between the screen and my eyes. It works out well. Um, but if there's a blue glare coming off, it's because they are these blue blocker glasses. Good for your eyes. Check them out. But yeah, let's tell them I'm happy. Keep it up. Everyone's good. Um, yeah, I'm going to end that there. Might look to make some rotation. And we'll see who we can get in there. 52nd, right at 52, so 53rd minute. Persich gets it from Morelli. Morelli back. Pavlovich. I haven't seen a lot of him today. Garcia. Garcia, he's, he's got someone on the wing. Oh, Boga. Oh, I thought he had that. He's going bottom right. And make some changes here at the 60th minute. Boga with a corner going near post. Hummels in there just sails it high. Right, coming back 60th minute. Morelli. Going with that long kick, Garcia collects it off of Vahalovic. Morelli back with it, looking to drive in. Vahalovic, boom! That is why he is wanted by all the big clubs. 3 0. I mean, and we have two away goals too, so they got to, you know, they got to tie us right now. They got to score five goals. All right, let's look to bring out some of the fellas. Garcia, I'm not going to take out because he's doing well. But Moranchuk's not doing so well. Let's bring out him for Tadic. Wow, Tadic. Let's get better with the words. Um, although Garcia is getting a little faded. Who would I bring? All right, so Taliska. I'll come in for him in just a little bit. I do want him to hopefully get that hat trick. Let's see, I haven't shouted at them once. Let me get creative. You guys are up three nothing. Get creative. What? What? Why? Why is he yelling at us? Uh, I will. I'm wasting. I already have lower tempo. I do need to play for set pieces. Let's do that. Okay. Um. Man, I don't want to take him out yet. I hear about it. Look to bring out Hummels or Konstantinovich. And if Garcia can't get another goal, I will go to balanced. I'm going to bring out Garcia after this one. Despotivsky, Bahalovic. Okay, after this corner. He doesn't score in this corner, or we don't get a penalty. Penalty! Okay. Let's take out Garcia. I, can't, I don't want him to get ruined. Oh, another corner. Crap. I thought... That we just sailed that high. All right, let's go. Let's win this. We have made it 
to the group stages and I will show you that draw after this. Um, I should really say I'm very happy. End it. Let's go. Let's see. I think the draw is tomorrow. The Garcia. Well done, my friend. Well done. And yeah, you can see the draw is there. Let's go one more. Um, get to that draw. Oh, okay. You guys can watch this in real time. Watch this pain. Is not interested in speaking to Barcelona. Rejected. Okay, good. Go away, big clubs. I'm not selling him. He is the man. The man. I am not getting rid of my friend Vahalovic. Um, and we do have a group stage draw. Let's go. Where are we seated? Probably a, a third seat. Okay, well, that's good. I did notice our um, ranking has gone up. Uh, Reputation's up to 7,100 and some change. Let's draw the first groups. Kandasar. Kazanadar. Wah. Barfoot words. Okay. Do not want um, Molten Gladbach again or Lazio. So at least they're not in the same ones. Um, that's a tough. I can take group C. Group. No, I don't want to. Oh my God. Group E and F. Oh, none of these are pretty. Okay, well, you know, we play the teams they put in front of us. Ajax, Zenit, Leon, Porto. Ooh. Earlier in the offseason, I was given the opportunity to get more money in transfer if I expected to move out into the knockout stages. I'm glad I turned that down. Um... <laughs> We're looking at Europa League as of right now. Who do we have left? Celtic, Milan, um, Furbacci, Fer Furbanacci, Inc., Basel, um, Copenhagen, Florentina, and Hertha. I think we can beat any of these teams. Um, Milan freaks me out a little bit, but we'll see. Uh, okay, well, who do we got left? Genk. Okay, um, not too bad. So let's let go one thing and we'll see. Yeah, we are in a tough group. I mean, definitely going to uh, look at Europa football this year. Um, I might come back for one of these two matches. Actually, I might come back for this PSG one because... I come back for Madrid, then I have to come back for PSG here. I'd rather do this PSG since we'll probably win all these league games, and then I'll come back for this Real Madrid one. Potentially, we have a partisan might actually come back for the Eternal Derby here. Then, yeah, Eternal Derby, PSG here, Real Madrid here. We'll see. Depending on where we are, um, I'll come back for one of these PSG ones, but I will come back. For Partizan up next. All right, guys, thanks so much. That was episode number 36 of Reign of Red Star. Um, we made it to the group stages, but made the board happy, but they're not going to be happy with who in there. We have PSG and Real Madrid in our group. Uh, can we just go back to where it's not ungodly difficult every time? Um, I appreciate all you guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. Again, let me know what you think um, about this, all this stuff. And I'd like to hear what you guys think. Where do you think we're going to finish in the um, Champions League group? We're going to, I'm going to hope for third, but I'll take first or second, of course. I just don't want fourth again. I do not want to come in last in the group like we did last year. But I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.